Hmm. Oh, what's that? There's a box behind me. I didn't even notice. Interesting. What do you think's inside? Could be a snake. This might be an alligator tool. Ready to see what this is? Ooh. Screenshot. So this is a box from Pravada Cigar Club. A cigar club that I did not know anything about until about a week ago when Brian Pravad Wait a minute, Pravad, that's his name. Uh, sent me an email. It was like, hey, I have a cigar club. Would you like me to send you cigars? And I said, yep, please. I wanna describe every detail of the box cause I've seen unboxing videos and they don't thrill me. And this one may not either, but I'm gonna make it as thrilling as possible. Cue the dramatic music. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, I will tell you, when I first got this, I didn't know... Oh, there's Z looking in at me. He's sneaking on me. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. What, like, if it'd be a fancy, like, cigar box inside of this box. I thought, like, it was gonna be this big old box and there'd be, like, 600 cigars in there. And it'd come in, like, a cedar chest. And inside, there might be some gold medallions. And... But... It's this size box. The inside, though is printed, it's kind of cool. It's not a bad logo. Not bad, Brian. And this is what came inside the bag. This piece of paper, I don't know anything about it, we're gonna get to that. And this super cool looking packaging. Okay, let's get to the letter first, just see what this says. Oh my gosh, it says a lot. They don't screw around here. They're like, they give you a lot of information about these stinking cigars. On the body of the cigar, I got soy teriyaki beef jerky scent. <laughs> Hello. What if it wasn't beef jerky? What if it was bacon? What if you had a bacon wrapped cigar? That's brilliant. I'm too excited to read much more of this because I just want to get to the cigars before I run out of light. Mm. See how it opens first. Oh, very. Oh, it tears perfectly. I mean, I don't know how important packaging is to you, but that's... That tears very well. I do believe this is resealable. It is. That's cool. So if you don't have a humidor, you can keep them, I would assume, in here. Oh, that is stinking cool. Look what's in, oh. Oh, golly, these look good. I got something in my lip and then we're gonna go try them. Well, not we, <laughs> just me. You get to watch me enjoy a cigar. You could be enjoying these yourself. 25 bucks a month. I mean, that's a cheap, I'm, I'm not trying to sell for Brian. I'm getting nothing for it. I'm just saying for that amount of money, this one alone retails for like $18. I'm not saying go do it. I'm just saying it's, it seems like a good deal. I can't tell you to go do it because I haven't done it myself, but I haven't tried them yet. So far, the experience has been very good. Now, I titled this video something about like world's best cigars. I don't know if these are actually the world's best cigars. They're probably the best cigars I've ever had. I will find out. But I will say, as I was coming up with the title, I was trying to figure out a title that would capture people's attention and make them think, well, I wanna click on that. And I thought world's best cigar. Who wouldn't wanna know about the world's best cigar? And it got me thinking about how me, I'm drawn to finding out the best of things. We want the best vacations, and the best education for our kids, and the best houses we can afford. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Boy, that smells good, I tell you. Best smelling cigars. You know, if you're gonna get a cigar, like, what's the best cigar I can get? We're always looking for, me personally anyways, like, the best, like, I think best of, a lot of times comes down to our perception. Again, this is just what I was thinking about when I was titling this video is like, it's possible. It's possible that this moment right now is the best moment in the universe. 
I'm going on a tangent. Just give me a moment as I prep my cigar. From what scientists can tell so far, we're it in the universe. From what the best minds in the world can tell us, this is the best the universe has to offer. And I think sometimes it's so easy to get bombarded or focused on the life that we have and thinking like it's not that good. It's mediocre. Like if we're gonna go on vacation, that vacation was okay. It wasn't the best. That cigar was okay. It wasn't the best. I make an okay living. It's not the best. Because there's always this idea of like better than. There's something that we can go for. And I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of making ourselves better and improving. But I think sometimes it's important to stop and realize that potentially this moment I'm having right now with this cigar, yes, maybe there's a better cigar out there in the world. And maybe there's a better seat to sit in and a better camera I could talk to, a better audience for sure, <laughs> is the best thing in the universe. There's always something better, I suppose. But at the same time, there's also nothing better in the universe than here right now. Because I'm alive and I'm breathing and we go through hard times and I understand that, but <sighs> it's just what I thought about as I was titling this video. Anyways, I have a decision to make with this. Do I cut it or puncture it? And it's kind of a small end, so I'm gonna cut it. I don't know what you find is the best place to cut it, but I find that the best place to cut it is just where I end up cutting it, which I think is going to be right, right there, right? Wouldn't you say that's perfect? Haha, <laughs> of course it is. See, we don't want the dog. Do you want this? What is that? What are you doing to it? Listen, sometimes even interruptions from your son and your dog, put it in perspective, could be the best moment in the universe right now. Oh, oh my gosh, if you could smell that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm not trying to be like overly salesy of the website or anything like that. But, I'm just telling you, this is so good. I, I'm not joking, Z's laughing at me back there. It's so good, I'm not just saying that. Every person that reviews something always says it's the best thing in the Yes, but this is so good. I tell you what. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, I just picked, it's so good. Now, that doesn't mean that you should go out and go to and join the cigar club. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this cigar happens to be amazing. Like, don't laugh. It's true. It's not. It, it's how do you know it's not? What if it is really good? You know what? They always say it just to make the... But I'm not getting paid. Hmm. Hmm. Don't say that like, oh... So why would I say it's good if it's not? Because you want the company to feel good. That's true. I do want the company to feel good. <laughs> That's what Z. <laughs> but what do I care if the company feels good? I mean, if you watch this, Brian, I mean, if you want to send me another, another three cigars, I mean, I would not complain. I. This is the thing, and I'm not. I know it sounds like Z thinks I'm lying. You probably think I'm lying. But at this moment, as I sit here, knowing that this cigar was in my mailbox, it's all I had to do is go to my mailbox. I tell you what, I'm not a cigar club person. Like, there's not really a big appeal to me. I like going into shops and picking out my cigar. This is just what I'm thinking. As I, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Joining the cigar club for 20 whatever dollars a month doesn't mean that you're not gonna go into your local cigar shop. It's just three cigars a month. But to know that three cigars a month are coming to me if I don't make it as a cigar shop and knowing that it's always gonna be different and customized for me, I tell you what, I would, I'm, I don't know. That's stinking. That is not bad. I know it sounds fraudulent. It sounds stupid. Oh, that's the best cigar I've ever had. <sighs> I don't know. It might be. It might. I listen. I'm not like a crazy cigar person. I haven't tried every cigar in the world. I'm not saying this is the best cigar in the world. I'm just saying that this is extremely enjoyable. 
So I'm curious now with his cigar club, if I find a cigar that I love, can I request it again for next month? Can I be like, hey, that cowboy was the cheese knees. Brian, what do you think about sending more cigars? That's the real question. Can I be your cigar ambassador? I am surprised, almost shocked, at how much I've enjoyed this experience of just opening the package and not knowing what's inside and finding three... Like, it's... There's... It's like a Christmas present. You can find a link to... And Brian didn't ask me to do this. This was I'm doing this on my own. Um, you can find the link to his website in the description. Again, I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just surprised at how much I am enjoying this experience. It's really good. <coughs> I have smoked this way too fast. <sighs> all for you, all for the B-roll. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, won't you? All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. It's dead. I let it go too long. A flow, sound